Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Band of Enemy Reactions, and I'm gonna get this one uploaded first, and then I'll do a High School DxD one. But, uh, the reason that some of these are putting put up with Let's Upload is because, like I've said before, Bitch Shoot's being... Well, it isn't cooperating. It uploads just fine, but when it wait when you wait to, you know, process the video and then publish it, it's taking its very, very sweet time. Like, hours upon hours of time. And I don't know why. I assume it's because maybe BitChute's being used too much and it's making it slow? That's the only reason I can think of because all the other websites are working at least decently well, at least better than BitChute has been, but I don't know. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be my review for Konosuba Episode 8, and I apologize as to what me talking about the destroyer thing because when I was watching the reaction watching the videos I accidentally clicked on episode 9 when I was gonna go watch episode 8 so I got myself mixed up so when you go and watch episode 9 and you wonder and I'm wondering you know where how did they get the mansion that's why so don't go saying in the comment section no you should have seen this in episode 8 I know I know anyway yeah, uh, this episode we get introduced to a character we didn't get to actually see, because apparently this happened off-screen. Where, uh, we get to meet a mage named Whis. And, or an arch-wizard named Whis. She owns a shop, and Aqua's getting annoyed by it because she thinks that, uh, Whis shouldn't be good enough to have a shop or something. And we actually find out that she is a lich. And for those of you who play D&D, you know what a freaking lich is. It's an undead that essentially is, well, it's supposed to be evil. And it commands other undead. Though, from what we could tell, Whis is not evil. She is still a good person. And the way they encountered her before is because apparently she was helping the souls of the dead go to the afterlife or something like that. And they came across her doing that. And Aqua tried to obviously exercise her, but... She stopped it, or they stopped her from doing that, and in exchange for Whis, you know, leaving the area, uh, Aqua would have to be the one to send the souls, you know, or send the souls, I guess, to the afterlife, or whatever the heck she was going on. And, yeah. Anyway, uh, Whis offers to teach Kazuma a new skill, because he's, I guess he's got some skill points to learn. And the skill is Dream Touch, where you touch somebody and you drain some of their energy and you can either use it for your own magic or give it to somebody else to replenish theirs. And that seems like a good idea. And she tested it out on Aqua and, well, yeah, uh, Aqua almost makes we disappear completely. Thankfully, they stopped that. But yeah, Aqua's being a bit of a brat towards her. I mean, yes, she is a lich, but she doesn't seem like a bad person. You know? So I don't know what her deal is. Anyway, uh, yeah, we actually get a... They're about to get another quest. They actually were going to go give it to Whis, because it would be, you know, her, her expertise, you know? Being, well, a lich and a mage, but nobody else knows she's a lich except for, I think, Kazuma, Aqua, and maybe the rest of the group. But, yeah, it's to exercise a bunch of ghosts that were haunting a mansion, and the landlord told the group that if they were able to get rid of the ghosts, that they would be able to stay in the mansion. Okay, it seems like a sweet deal. And... <sighs> Aqua works on exercising a ton of ghosts out of there, and they think, oh, we got them all. And I actually think that too, but then spooky things start happening where creepy dolls that you would see in horror movies start popping up and following Kazuma and Megamine around. And they will have to use the bathroom, and sadly, while Megamine is using the bathroom while Kazuma waits outside, the dolls start popping up again, and he has to actually force the door open to get her out so they could get out of there alive, essentially. And, yeah, they end up hiding in another room, 
and when they try and you know go out and face the me the ghosts, they end up accidentally hitting Aqua. And Aqua tells them, and they tell Aqua what's going on. She goes and gets rid of the ghosts. And uh, once they get the reward, the, they get the, go to get the reward for the job. They actually find out that. Uh, the reason all the ghosts were there is because some idiot pulled a, apparently pulled a prank and put a barrier over the cemetery so the ghosts couldn't go there. Come to find out, this is all Uncle's fault. Because rather than go there every day and do what we asked her to do, she decided to put a barrier up thinking, oh, they'll, st they'll leave once they can't get, after a while, once they can't get in. No, they decided to go in the mansion instead because that was the closest place. So yeah, this was all Uncle's fault. But, even though they couldn't really accept the reward, the landlords still allowed them to stay there. Which is good. But, yeah, I apologize for getting the episodes mixed up. I wasn't paying attention when I clicked on the video because I thought I clicked on the right one. And, yeah. Anyway. <sighs> I'm going to try and get at least this episode up and then a High School DxD one up. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And for the new subscriber, Andrea, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I hope you find content on here you enjoy. And if you do, I'd say tell people you know that like anime. They might actually find something too. If not, that's fine. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.